great to see you again. Um, today I'm going to talk about my um, October version of my Luxbox. Yeah, I received this a week ago and I'm actually a little bit late on shooting this video. But it's always better late than never, right? So let's see what's inside this October version. First, when you open your Luxbox, you'll see a letter from my Lux team. Um, it basically welcomes you to the family and also tells you a little bit more about their company. And then, you got this very nice packaging of products. When you unwrap it, all the products are inside. So let's go through each one. First, it gives you a description card. Um, I think this idea is really neat because it put in all the uh, information about your products and uh, it also gives you the price of the products so you have an idea of um, how much it costs for the full size. Also, it's in both English and Chinese, so it's really good. So what about the products? Um, the first one that caught my eye is Laura Mercier's um, Foundation Primer. Um, this is very, very famous and um, it has so much good comments about it and I've been wondering if it works for me because I tried the tinted moisturizer before and it didn't, it didn't work on me. So I'm excited to try this base and see how it goes. And the second item is Caudalie's um, Hand and Nail Cream. I haven't tried this brand and um, good to start with the hand cream and it actually smells really nice so I'm excited to try it out. And also got something from Jifangqi. Um, this is basically um, like a eye and lip makeup remover so it comes in handy. Well, of course, I will try it and see how it, how it works out. And also, another thing from Givenchy this month as well is the Vaccine Youth. This is actually a youth infusion serum. It's basically a serum that, you know, for anti-aging. And this last item in the box is called Perfective Surticles. It is actually a face mask. I haven't heard this brand before. I'm going to um, do a little bit of research about it and um, see what kind of brand it is and what it's famous for and stuff like that. But I'm excited to try this. So that's it uh, for the month. And I love everything here. And if you don't know too much about my Lux box, go to the link below. I have written a few blog posts about that and also did my review for the September one. Um, it's really a long blog post. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll keep you guys posted of how all these items goes probably after a week or so. See you guys later. Bye.